Hey everyone, John's here today. We're outside Marco's Pepper Grill in Houston, Texas. Here doing a giant Rasta Pasta challenge. So Rasta Pasta is a pasta featuring jerk chicken, featuring jerk shrimp, featuring their house-made kind of jerk pasta. It all looks really, really good. Um, so from my understanding, this is an absolutely giant, giant, giant challenge. Uh, it is the equivalent of many, 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 maybe like six servings or something of their normal uh, pasta. Very, very, very large. I do know we are gonna have 30 minutes to complete it in order to get the meal for free. Um, if not, I'll get some more details about the price tag and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, should be good. This is a food truck here, and it does have a permanent location. And they have some really unique items, such as like Caribbean, Southwest, and Creole, Cajun cuisine. So that everybody, we'll get some uh, food, get you some more details, like I said. Sounds really good. So yeah, guys, jerk chicken, jerk shrimp. I do like all of the above. I like flavors. And this is supposed to be a spot for lots of flavor, maybe even spicy. So with that, let's have some fun, these food. Let's get eating. All right, everyone, so here with the massive, massive plate of jerk chicken, or I should say, the Rasta pasta. So we have over three pounds, just a full three pounds of cooked weight chicken breast jerk chicken looks awesome they do other their special sauces marinades etc we have the multiple shrimp skewers so we have 18 shrimp in total again marinated cook with their house made garlic butter all the jerk seasonings on top of a huge bed of over a pound of their peppers hence marco's pepper grill guys this is what they're really known for peppers onions we have then probably about three pounds of their house made uh, pasta with the alfredo so the delicious house made alfredo sauce jerk seasoning cheese all that stuff in there guys this is a lot of food, probably weighs about eight pounds, to be honest, so that's a lot. I am a little nervous, let's just say I'm probably going to die. I was not prepared to eat this much today, I kinda already ate, but uh, that guys looks really good. So with that, let's get started here, just momentarily. I know they uh, have some uh, jerk sauce, they said, which of course is signature and delicious, so they're gonna get me some of that. Yeah, thanks so much. Jerk sauce, I'm excited to try that. I'm definitely uh, pumped, I'll probably start some of this chicken. Looks, it's very delicious, and jerk chicken's supposed to be black, and it's not like burnt. It's supposed to be like this, so how about we can start it? Maybe we'll save the count of uh, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mmm. Woo! Oh, yeah. That is a good chicken. I don't know what that is. Chicken's good. Mmm. Nice and moist. Definitely a good bit of spice on that. There's a lot of chicken. Yeah. Delicious jerk flavors. Mm. Boys. It was funny. At first, he's like, these are seven ounce chicken breasts. I was like, my friend, you have amazing value if you think that is a seven ounce chicken breast and we weigh it under a pound. But delicious, guys. He knows how to cook his stuff. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Marco's Pepper Grill in Houston, Texas, here taking on the giant Rasta Pasta Challenge. So this was a super unique challenge. I've never actually had a Rasta Pasta before. I've definitely heard of Rasta Pasta, and this was kind of a new finding of what it actually was. So it was chicken, shrimp, peppers, and this uh, lovely pasta covered in cheese, and uh, uh, doused in their house-made kind of white sauce or alfredo, um, which actually had some coconut in it, which was super interesting. We'll get a little bit more into that later on. So it was a, a let's say, very Caribbean kind of flavors, Caribbean themed through and through. And I was definitely hoping that I would have the opportunity to actually try to eat everything, like try all the different items, because it looked great. Think about maybe two minutes them. That's a big breast. Not saying that's a bad thing, guys. I do like me some breast, chicken breast, chicken breast, of course. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just kidding. Very good flavors, though. A lot of food. 
So with the three giant chicken breasts, all the shrimp, and then the pasta, I knew we were gonna be in for a bit of a ride. These chicken breasts were over a pound each cooked, so I don't know what kind of chickens they came from, but they were definitely monster chickens. Texas-sized chickens, I guess you could say. Um, the lovely, like, kind of jerk seasoning on the chicken. So I know it looks black, but if you've ever had jerk chicken, that's how it's supposed to be. It's just kind of like the seasonings in it, the little bit of sugar in the sauce. When it hits that fire, oh my gosh, it just creates such a nice flavor. It's good. Good, good, like I said, there's a good bit of spice to it. And like, I mean like a lot of spices. I wouldn't call it like really, really spicy, but punch of flavor. Yeah, jerk spice is really good. It's a little hard to describe jerk seasoning if you've never had it, but there are actually some winter spices in it. So while you have like things kind of like some onion, probably a little bit of garlic, um, you do actually have like some uh, kind of cinnamon-y-ish, like kind of those winter spices, um, and a little bit of sweetness, which just kind of brings this really unique packful punch. There's definitely a nice bit of acidity in it as well, and it's just like a, uh, I, I really like it. It's a great, great, great flavor. Let me know if you like like jerk, you know, chicken or jerk anything down below. Cause here we have jerk shrimp, jerk chicken. Um, that's pretty much like the majority of the details about the food. The shrimp were uh, also a jerk shrimp marinated and then all cooked in a garlic butter. On the third breast guys, try and make our way through it. Very delicious. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's not gonna, it's gonna get, it's not going to be easy, any bit of it. It's a lot of food. <laughs> but it's very good tasting. And then a really cool staple at Marco's Pepper Grill, hence the name Peppers, is the peppers. <laughs> like, as funny as that sounds. Um, they have, like, the integration of peppers in almost all the dishes, which I think is amazing. I don't know, bro. Oh, look like it ain't in it. I don't know. Peppers are actually one of my favorite vegetables, so I'm always down for an excuse to eat some healthy peppers. I forgot to schedule a YouTube video, everybody. We're getting a late upload to that. Oh, wow. Really? But that everybody with only a 30 minute time limit to try to get that $90 meal for free, let's tune on in, see if we can complete this challenge. So sit back and relax. Hopefully you enjoy this Caribbean food challenge. It has been by popular request. And let me know your favorite Caribbean food down below. Make my way through, maybe six, three. Very good. Wow. <laughs> wow. Almost got the chicken done. There's a lot of spice. Yeah. Try the shrimp out. Get that grill flavor. Try just like garlic butter. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of pasta there. You guys spread that out? That's gonna be a tough part. These are some big shrimp too, by the way, buddy. I don't know how much these weigh, but these are huge. Yeah, they are. They are, yeah. Very large, good size. I think we're just over nine minutes in. And the rasta pasta and chill. Well here. 
Yeah. I knew who would get this. They're saying I have some competition with these flies. They know where the good food is. How things get real? All the rasta pasta, and then all the peppers. Woo. I mean, I'm probably just gonna use my hand, but. Mm. Ooh. And I forgot he told me this. It was actually a coconut cream. It's kind of go with the, you know, the Jamaican, the tropical. Really, really nice. Mm. <laughs> Leave no doubt. Good flavor. Mm. I've never had a pasta with a um, kind of coconut aspect. Good call with that, Alfredo. Roasted peppers. Great bite of flavor. Nice crisp al dente. I will say though. <laughs> this is good. The peppers and onions are a really nice addition. Coming on, I think, 12 minutes into uh, pasta and chill. Yeah, everybody here doubted me, guys. No, I'm just <laughs> except the one, except the one. You're not done yet. You got that pasta. That's very true. Right. We're not done till no, we're done. I think it has some of those jerk flavors in that pasta too. I'm trying to make sure this is focusing right. Hopefully, the reflection on this tray is being a little weird. Let me try to cover that up. Excuse me. <laughs> Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Some cultures, that's what that means, so. <laughs> that's impressive. It's something. Yeah. I one time had a, a lady come up to me. And she was used quite elderly. Like very elderly. Like I, I would guess late nineties, like very, very, very elderly. Oh yeah. And she said to me, you know, I've never seen something quite like that. It was half amazing, half disgusting. <laughs> and I said, that's a good way to describe it. I'm not offended. It's true. Right, right. I want to get your hand on it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Bring out another plate. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> for him. Is it good, Joel? It is. Very, very nice. Great flavor. <laughs> okay. A bit over 16, filling up. We're on the last couple bites. Thank you. Whoa! Hi, everybody. All right. That was a lot of food. Very delicious. That was a lot of food. I think we were maybe like 17.05, maybe 17 minutes in, something like that. 
Ugh. People say, why do I wear gloves? Because look, I can just go like this and I'm pretty much clean. And I can touch my camera. That's why. But that, everybody, that was very, very delicious. Definitely enjoyed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the Rasta Pasta, again, comments the chef. Really, really cool place. They have a really, really interesting mix of different cuisines here. They got like Jamaican, they got like Cajun, they got Creole, a um, little bit of everything, a little bit of uh, Hispanic kind of influence in there, guys. But definitely enjoyable. I really enjoyed that jerk chicken. That was absolutely fire. Um, just the seasonings, all the flavor cooked on that grill is perfect. Like I said, just the way it is, kind of has that grill flavor on it is beautiful. Kind of like, like I said, that little bit of blackened from that little bit of sweetness in that jerk sauce is fantastic. Jerk sauce is very, very good. Pasta was really nice as well. I really like kind of having that coconut aspect in it. And it's not a strong flavor. Like some people are really, they don't really like coconut. I personally like coconut, but if it's kind of the thing where it's quite subtle. So I think if, again, yeah, trying to make sure this is focusing. Whereas like, if, if you didn't like really focus on it or somebody didn't tell you, you just kind of be like, what's that flavor? So it's just this really nice note. And it goes really well with kind of that creaminess of that Alfredo. So it's really, really interesting. But uh, yeah, guys, so for that, we did complete the challenge. It is defeated, guys. Very delicious. And uh, yeah, I mean, Marco's Pepper Grill, guys, those peppers were a great addition there. Just really nice flavors. And healthy vegetables, guys. Eat your vegetables. So with that, I definitely recommend stopping on by when you're in the Northeast Houston. Is that right? Downtown area. Downtown area. Houston, Texas. There you go, guys. Um, you don't need to eat this much. <laughs> Try all the other dishes. Get a normal sized Rasta pasta. I did really enjoy it. But yeah, just because I do this doesn't mean you have to. So leave it to me. But that everyone, like I said, that was awesome. You can feel free. It's pretty cool. And uh, that everyone, until next time, I know where to come get some delicious and again, really spiced. Not spicy, not like, but just really flavorful food, which I really, really enjoy. So, Marcos. So that everyone, until next time, of course, I'm happy, I love your happy eating. Thanks to everybody who came on by. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.